Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive to keep championship dreams alive. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Louisville Cardinals taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Street. It's been a tremendous college football playoff so far, and it's down to this, the semifinals. Which team will head on to the national championship game? The kickoff team is out there, and here we go with this playoff semifinal game. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So Michigan's offense making their way on the field to open this game. First, the home of the Cotton Bowl in modern times have become AT&T Stadium, a massive yet somehow intimate setting. This, of course, is where the first championship game of the playoff era was played. Well, who could forget that when Ohio State took care of Oregon to win the national championship for Urban Meyer. And this game, like you said, I think it just seems to get bigger and bigger in this setting. The pressure these players feel. Let's see who can handle that the best today. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrell Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. They had so many good backs that come through in our That run moves the ball across the 35. The Wolverines come to the line in a hurry up. Quarterback appears to be changing the play. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. They're going to run it. Powers through. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Looking to scramble. There's a wide open receiver complete. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. They'll move the ball to the 25-yard line. The Wolverines are on the move here. Oh, the defense. They get this offense to a third down early in the game, a chance to get them off the field. But instead, this quarterback shows you why they've had such a great year with a conversion. First down. We're going to throw the football. Grab down the middle. It's Morgan. Brought down a broken tackle to produce a solid game there. And the Wolverines are in the red zone. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. And you gotta love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. They'll try to run for the first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down. Almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is it gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this of picking up that first down. 
Trying for a fourth down completion. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he'll be stopped just short of the end zone at the one. The Wolverines will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. And they're trying to punch it in here. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. We come out in the playoff game, Kurt. No signs of a loss for the offense immediately. Yeah, no jitters at all. After the layoff, I wondered how they might be able to come out and communicate. And they actually just the, the rhythm to the offense. But they did not hesitate. They set the tone early. Now they got themselves a lead. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 open scoring. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So the Louisville Cardinals offense out there for their first possession. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. And they'll tackle them about the 23-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Go stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Crucial third down play coming up. To throw, it's shot. It's a short completion of the big tight end. They've got him, but not before he makes a first down at the 41. The Cardinals come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. That's reeled in. It's a foul. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. That completion makes it second and medium. Press coverage now from the secondary. Handoff here from the shotgun. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And the defense smothers him for no gain. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. It's caught downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Handoff to the back. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. The defense coordinator this week, all week, telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. This should be the last play of the quarter. Linebacker shifting around now. Back to pass. It's shot. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. And the first quarter is in the books. What is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. Through one period, these teams are finding out that playoff games just feel different. Who can handle the nerves better as we head to the second? So we begin the second quarter with a field goal attempt as the kicking team is out there. 
And it's no good. He missed it. And after the miss, still down by seven. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. And now you can see he's hanging his head. That poor kicker. The back's got it. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. The Wolverines looking to crank up the tempo a bit. A movement here from the tight end. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. Breaks into the clear, it's a sprint. No stopping him, takes it all the way. Touchdown, Wolverines. What a long run for the touchdown. I don't know if this defense was caught sleeping or walking in mud. I can't pick which one, maybe it's both. Because the running back just went right by them so easily for the big game and a big time score. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Louisville offense is back out there on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. It's a run. Running back's got it. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Offense operating from the pistol. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and they've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one dimension. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. It's pulled in completion on a diving catch. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. And the Cardinals line up on first and ten now. Oh, a reverse. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contain. And that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. To the air. It's shot. Makes a quick catch. Goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few yards, but it's short of the first down marker. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And the ball is picked off. Not much on the return there, but the interception gives the football back to the offense at the 47. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. And the Wolverines will crank up the tempo. Because I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half. So really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action. Opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. Important third down play coming up. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. On third and short, they hand the ball off. That moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. Here comes the up-tempo offense. 
Chris, it's the consistency of this back has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. And just a short game this time to get him down. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. He brings the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Oh, and the big fella almost had it. Incomplete, though, brings up third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. After the incompletion, the lineup here for a third and seven. Running back with the football. He shreds the tackle. And they've got him back there for a loss of eight. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. They've already converted once on fourth down this game. Let's see if they can make it two for two. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. He's going to take off here. Finds room at the 30. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. A gain makes it second and medium. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. After second effort, he's brought down, but he's past the marker. The Wolverine tussled to the line to run the hurry up. Quarterback, two snap adjustment snap for this defense. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Trying to create here on the move. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down in the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. They convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. Pickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Louisville offense is back out there on the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. And he's got his man open downfield. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Going for a big play downfield. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Touchdown, Louisville. This quarterback on fire today. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Let's see how this offense plays this. They try to get some more points for the half or play it more conservatively. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. 
Tries to beat the pressure with a deep shot. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Well, this quarterback's trying to do everything he can to give this play a chance. He gets out of the pressure off to his right. Man, did he take a hit. Wasn't able to complete this pass. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. The Wolverines hustle to the line to run the hurry up. The Sabres now getting some new assignments before the snap. Bringing pressure. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. There's a nice sack by this defense, something that they've been looking for. They've been on their heels most of this football game. That time they were able to get after the quarterback and bring him down. Let's see if that can provide a bit of a spark. See if they can get a little bit of momentum going their way. Now to play fake, he'll look to throw it. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Well, you can see what happens when you try to squeeze it into a tight window. An incompletion is probably the best result you could have hoped for because an interception is the most likely outcome anytime you throw into double cover. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. The offense has a big play here, but they really put themselves in a hole on first and second down. That's why they've needed to try to play catch up. They get some great yards there on third down, but it's still fourth down. Can they pick up the first? Trying to extend the play. On the run, he'll let it go. It's a fourth down stop. The offense will take over in lost territory. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. Look at him out throwing here to start the drive. He's got it for a big game. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The Cardinals are going to cash in here in the red zone. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And it's picked off in the end zone. He goes down, but snags the ball and gives this defense a takeaway. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points, at the very least, a field goal. they got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. Looks like they'll take a knee in the final play and head to halftime with the lead. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. That's going to do it for us here at the half. Time to see how this incredible playoff drama plays out. And for that, it's back to Chris and Kirk. All right, Kevin, thank you for the update. And the Wolverines will kick this away to get the second half going. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Louisville offense is back out there on the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And it's good for a first down with a 36. A new set of downs after that completion. They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run. 
and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Dropping back. It's shot. He makes the grab. Breaks clear over the right side. Can they chase him down? Touchdown, Cardinals. A strong fight back. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Right over again. I know that I didn't do that. I don't hit circle. Fucking game. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out of the field. Trying to find some room. It's Edwards. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. And it's a bunch formation. And he'll drop back here on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. Good enough for first down yardage. The Wolverines will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Think about this, Chris. These guys have been working since January of last year to get ready for a dream season. They've had that. Now they're here, so close into the postseason, the playoff, working with the lead. It comes down to a third down. They do their job, convert. Now they keep working that clock and getting so much closer to advancing to the next round. To throw, it's Orgy. And that one's picked off. What a play. Not much on the return, but... And the time. The offense at the 35. What a risky call by the offensive coordinator. I know for a fact that the, the guy was there. In the second half, throwing the football. I don't disagree with it, but now you give this defense. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Critical third down play for this offense right here. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Doesn't get rid of it. He's brought down way behind the line of scrimmage. That's a huge loss. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the Cardinals will bring their punt team onto the field. And this drive moves backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Finally forced out of bounds, but a solid return that time. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. The offense going with the hurry up. This running back's had a big night. Kind of night you dream about. But the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Caught behind the line. He's crying. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound. Right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Using his legs on the scramble. 
And they finally make the stop, but that's a huge gain in the scramble. He found some space and just went for it. The Wolverines will line up on first and ten. Man, it is fun to watch this guy get out in the open field. I didn't realize he could run like this. That's a big game for this offense. That's a big game deep in enemy territory. Ball down near the 30. And the Wolverines will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? Makes a nice move there. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. The Wolverines trying to cash in here in the red zone. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Trying to run it, it's Edwards. And tackled after a small pickup there. So Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. Sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game stats while we have a chance. All right, here comes the fourth quarter. Everything to play for here. Who's going to stay alive, survive, and advance in the college football playoff? Back to throw. It's Orgy. Pass not complete, but there was a lot of contact there, and here comes a late flag. Pass interference. Defense. That planned defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback making some changes at the line. They'll run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third down, he drops to throw. He's got it right near the end zone. And the defense makes a saving tackle at the two-yard line. Boy, what an incredible job here by this defense on third down. Now to set up a pivotal fourth down play. Question is, does the offense go for it and be aggressive, or do they punt it away and trust their defense to get a win? Leading here in the fourth quarter, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to stretch the lead and keep possession. There's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Picked off a crucial turnover. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Fresh set of the offense goes <clears throat> down. Linebackers moving around trying to confuse the offense. Offense will keep it on the ground here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Looking for his back. Looks to the left. Pass caught. They bring him down to the 38, but that's good enough for a first down. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost and forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. They continue to march toward a game-tying touchdown. It's first and ten. Great play call by the offensive coordinator. Outstanding job of executing by the quarterback. With the defense trying to stop the run, the quarterback felt that. Made a nice throw to the receiver. Look at this result. Positive yards. Now it's second down here. Completion on first down, looking to throw it again. 
What a catch. Hands up off the deflection. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. A crucial play in this game. It's third down and two. And the quarterback keeps it here. And moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. The Cardinals come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Defensive backs up of the line, showing press. Good throw to the left. Looks downfield and finds a receiver. Wide open. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. And that completion Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has an intercept in the end zone. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The Wolverines looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Man, just complimentary football, really, in a nutshell. They get this football back thanks to their own defense, creating that turnover, working with the lead like this. Really, it's all but over. Now the offense is just thinking about running the football and working that clock. They'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Well, this is a huge third down coming up here, and here's where that chess match comes to head. And for the defense, they desperately need to make a play if they believe they have any chance of coming back to win this game. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. With pressure and sack him and he tackled inside the 10. Now they put that nickel defense, and I think that's the right call. You get more speed to be able to cover with those five defensive backs. It also allows that defensive line with that good coverage to get after the quarterback, as we see here. They'll punt it from inside their own 10. And the fair catch is made, but there's a flag down. So I'll sort that out. Kick that Kick to the field. Field. Kicking, Kicking team. team. Well, the coverage team must have missed the fair catch signal, but the referees did not. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. They're going to run it. Matt gets the carry. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And we've reached the two-minute warning as this offense tries to steal a late-game comeback victory. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. And just... We got a touchdown here, and they're an extra point away from taking the lead. Unbelievable to watch this quarterback and this offense work. Hold up a second. The coach has called timeout. He may use a challenge here to have the officials take another look at that one. Not the news the coach was hoping to hear. He took a chance calling a timeout to get the replay. We'll see if that proves to be crucial. See if they can convert the point after. The PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Personal foul. Nothing to kick the kick. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Now they get set to kick it away. That one sails out of the back of the end zone with the touchback. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. And he dunks it off to the tight end and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. They bring him down with the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Here comes a first down pass attempt. 
short connection to the tight end here. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. And the Wolverines will come to the line to run the hurry up. Looking to pass, it's Orgy. Short pass, finds the tight end. Timeout called by the defense. They go to the sideline and try to adjust. It's their first timeout. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. That completion makes it second in medium. Going to chuck it again. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Quick throw complete to the tight end. They make the stop just short of the mark where it's going to be fourth down and inches. And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. Tie ball game late, and they're going for it on fourth down. And a timeout is called. They'll talk it over. Tied late here in the fourth quarter. So tie game. Fourth quarter. They're going to go for it on this fourth down. Tight end. Goes in motion. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. They stop him, but it's a first down. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Been a decent game there before the defense brings him down. They'll crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Moves left out of the pocket. Forced out of bounds, just short of the end zone. Forced and goal, clock winding down. A great chance for this offense to get a go-ahead score. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Grab near the sticks, it's Loveland. Touchdown, Wolverines. They go in front in the final minute of play. Great job here by this quarterback on this read. I thought he might try to get the ball to the receivers instead. He sees the matchup that he wants, finds that big tight end, and they get the go-ahead score here late in the game. And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it off here and hope the defense can hold on. And he'll just take a knee here, trying to preserve as much time as possible. They'll start at the 25. And the Louisville offense is back out there on the field. So here we go. They need a touchdown. Got a little time to work with. How will they play this situation? And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. And he's intercepted for the fourth time tonight. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Oh, you feel terrible for this quarterback. He's played well all year. He's trying to make a play, trying to force it into coverage because they need points at this point in the game to try to advance into the next round of the playoffs. Puts it into coverage, and that's probably going to do it.
First down here for this offense. Motion now from the tight end. Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They make the tackle, but that's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 34. And the defense calling time here with 26 seconds to play. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. They're going to run it here. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. The Wolverine tussle to the line to crank up the tempo. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. Looking to scramble to his left. And it's incomplete. Just 10 seconds remaining now. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Takes the handoff and he'll head left. He shreds the tackle. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. After the pressure field goal, they'll kick it away. The offense has a lot of work to do and not much time to do it. From inside the 15-yard line, bringing it out. And the coverage team will tackle him as the clock runs out. That will wrap up this game. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks and the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship says everything about the endurance of this football team both mentally and physically and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs and that is going to wrap it up we enjoyed this one here for kirk curb street i'm chris fowler and this has been another presentation of ea sports college football